Ready? Yeah. What's good, everybody? So today we're gonna be doing another. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Putting this in, you know that, right? Let's just say Let's no just say. edit game. I will be strong. We're gonna be doing a uh, Kaisa's top five. You guys already know this is the man that brought me into the game. You know, rookie of the year. Let's just say I might get a plaque soon. Damn. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing your top five. You excited or no? Yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm gonna show you guys my top five. I've been, I haven't done a personal top ever of my own, like everything combined. So let's just say only for Saga Diddy. Real one. Stay strong. <laughs> All right, let's get into it, man. You oh. know we're not gonna we're not gonna waste time here. You know we're gonna All get right. into it. So, what you got for number five? Huh? You know number five, we're gonna go for one of the sneakers that I wore the most in 2016. Uh, I said that this is the sneaker of 2016 <clears throat> um, on my vlogs, and uh, I stand by it. Actually, I walk on it. Ultra Boost, oh, Uncaged yeah. Ultra Boost. This is definitely top five, no questions asked in my collection, just because it is. Famous is comfort, style. It's amazing. This is amazing. You know, you can't go wrong with this. And a lot of people wouldn't even put this in their top five. But me, it's like I'm gonna put not just my most hype shoes, but the shoes I wear the most and the shoes that I enjoy the most and I enjoy wearing this. So you might get flamed in the comments for this year. But you know what? Let's just say it's your top five, not theirs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And these are comfort though. You like this? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love the sock liner. I love the uncaged. It's way more Price comfortable. Love socks. You, know you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Stan. It's next. Next up, I mean, you know, I'm a big Air Jordan One guy, and I try not to. These are definitely my top five, but mm. they're also like my favorite in each category, as far as like my favorite Air Jordan One, my favorite Ultra Boost. So shattered backboards. I think you guys already knew I was gonna pull these up. Um, I mean, what do we need to really say? Like, let's just say we have something in common, G. This is my top five too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So let's just say quality. Quality is key. <laughs> we don't have to say nothing about these. You guys know about it. Quality is just a booter. Let's just say A1, no barbecue sauce. Let's just say France. Let's just say shatter backboard, fix the glass. <laughs> Yee! All right, next up. Yeah, next up. Um, Oh. One of my favorite Adidas Yeezys. I, again, with the category thing, out of all the Yeezy Adidas that I have, this one, I beat the crap out of them. I need another pair soon. Mm. And um, Pirate Blacks, man. This was the third, I believe, Yeezy with Adidas. Um, mm -hmm. I got the High Top, then you got the Doves, then you had the Pirate Blacks. I got these gifted to me, which makes them a little bit special. <laughs> and they're uh, just, Damn, how can you go wrong? Let me ask you, how do they get you go They're wrong? beat, but they still look fresh upper. Yeah, you have them too, right? Yeah, I actually have a DS pair too. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, so, might have to call me soon. Yeah, might have to sell them to them. <laughs> yeah, so these are actually nine and a half. I didn't even realize really? that. Let's just say, fam. Yeah. yeah, but these fit better. Kais was arguing uh, with me about the V2s, mm -hmm. right? He was saying that they have more cushion, but they don't fit well. These fit better. I agree, they fit better. But I don't know, Kais has some. The V2s fit you feet. like this. Like, it's like this. Like, mm. it forces it's itself like a on sandwich, you. Sandwich. Know? It's like an ex girlfriend you don't want. Forces itself on you. Oh, Let's just say. I don't even need to throw 100s this time. <laughs> Let's just say, man. No, no 100s today. No 100s. Only 1,000s. Only 1,000. <laughs> but yeah, man, Pirate Black definitely had to be in the top five of my, in my yeah, collection. You know, for the right you price, anything's for sale. You know what I mean? <laughs> number two, um, this is oh, the man. first Yeezy I was able to ever afford. I saved up and I finally got them. And it was the most expensive shoe I ever bought at the yeah. time. And it is the Yeezy 2 Plat. This is, if you're a sneakerhead, I don't care if you're a hype beast, if you're not a hype beast. If you're a Kanye fan, if you're not a Kanye fan, this shoe right here, you've wanted it some some time in your life. Mm -hmm. There was a point in your time. There's a point in time in life when you <laughs> wanted these sneakers. When I got these, it was like buying a brand new car. It was it was amazing. You know, it was the second happiest day, first happiest day after my life. Oh my it, God. it was it was. <laughs> I'm no, dying. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is, it was, I don't know, it was just like, you know, it's like that shoe you see on the internet over and over again. You mm. see it behind glass cases at sneaker stores, but then you have them on your feet, and it was just the feeling that I, I just like 
it was like hard work pays off. A lot of people don't know that you actually saved up for these. And I was with you when you, I, I think I was with you when you got these, or the second day, you were told, telling me the story. Yeah. Save up, people. It's not, it doesn't come every day. He saved up for what? A couple of years, right? No, not even, it's not even that I saved. It's just being financially smart okay and to buy this like i wasn't like i didn't spend all my money and i wasn't like shit i got yeezys but i'm broke yeah you know what i'm saying i was i was working hard and i was able to put money aside to buy this so it wasn't like i was saving it was just like i waited and waited for the right time and right. been able to buy a freaking pair of yeezys like i paid 1400 for these so i'm not uh, i'm not gonna sit here and hide the numbers right. like i paid 1400 for easy twos which is really good price and it was like, um, what was I gonna say? I sold, the other thing I did is, in order to buy these, I sold like seven sneakers. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just like saving money. It was just like, okay, I'm, I'm cool. Like I don't, I don't, yeah, it was just the right time, right place. No, no, no. Hard work, easy, you know? easy too. So. Yeah. I now have all three Yeezys. So, you know, when you work a little bit more harder and you do find the right opportunities, you can complete the set. Just know? say I gotta put work in. Y'all know how I feel about this sneaker. <laughs> that should be, this should be, a Yeezy 2 should be your, uh, like your celebration sneaker after you've yeah. accomplished a lot, you stacked up the money and... Y'all yeah, already know. <laughs> you need to do a top five dream shoes. Of the oh cool yeah, 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 yeah. Good right. idea, another idea. So coming in at number one is a sneaker that, probably not on anyone's list really, but for me this was a sneaker that I've always, always wanted and it's very, very limited. I think there's like a 500 or less of these mm. and when I got them, I got them from Soul Supremacy and I didn't know if I wanted to wear them or not, but then I, the right opportunity came and I got them signed. Damn. So these are the Adidas Big Sean Detroit players the red version and as you guys can see they are signed by the man himself um, There's not a lot of these in existence give thanks to the pyramids Like look at these like if I pull up in these at a sneaker con I'm breaking necks, you know what oh, I'm saying, but unfortunately you're breaking G Hearts hearts <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's big. I'm a huge big Sean fan um, I've met him twice the first time I met him was like Four years ago and that's when he I had a conversation with him a very short conversation about chasing my dreams and he said some words to me and I feel like his first album was very inspirational and I, I used that album to motivate me to work hard and this this sneaker was released around that album so it definitely represents it and I met him again and shout out to DJ Mo Beats a good friend now um, who's his official DJ and he was there when I met him too, and he signed them. So shout out to Big Sean for signing these. Shout out to, shout out to Sean Detroit. Down. And on the inside of the shoot says, I'm still, I say I'm still dreaming bigger than I'm living. So it's a little inspirational quote right there. I don't know if you guys can see don't it. Focus it's, on not, me. it's not focused on me. There we go. As you guys can see right there. So this shoe right here is just motivation. They'll always be in my life. They'll always be in my collection. They'll always be in a glass box. So. That's number one, but here's the thing is this is top five. This is number one here. I have another sneaker that I don't keep here uh, that would be above all of these, and that is my autographed Kobe. So when I met Kobe at the gas station, he signed up for me. I have to insert that so. picture right here. So yeah, but that's top five in my collection that's here with me right now, so. I'll be honest with you fam, I've known you for what, six years now maybe? I would have never guessed these were your number one. No way. Nah, I swear. You can, you, I thought I can, these were your number one no. for some reason, but now I know why. The significant behind the shoe, he signed it, the way you got it signed, the way you got the sneaker. You got it from Seoul, right? I got it yeah, from Seoul. So, I'm looking Seoul. for another pair to wear, so I'm, so, I'm probably hey, gonna buy another pair. If y'all got a pair for him, size 10, right? Size 10. 10. Wait, what are these? Okay. These are nine and a half. These are nine and a half, they fit, so nine and a half, ten. Nine and a half, ten, so it, if you guys got it, hit them up. The thing about them, I told Swag this yesterday when he was looking at a perfect pairs sample black Jordan 11s. I said, would you trade all the, your whole collection for that? And he said, I don't know. But then I said, all these other sneakers, you can replace them eventually. That's true. Easy, as long yeah. as you have the money. Yeah. This right here, money can't buy Not this. Money can't buy that signature. I mean, it can if you know him, but if there's a fire, I'm running after this sneaker. Just say he doesn't put forest fires out. He just lets it expand. <laughs> <laughs> All 
but that's the top five. This video is gonna be short but sweet. You know what I'm saying? You got anything to say? Subscribe to this man. Subscribe. I'm obviously his stuff's gonna be in the link. Even the, I mean, everything helps. You know, everything every helps. little little subscribers help. You, you might know? have so you you got a few subscribers right. that aren't subscribed to me. Yeah, There's yeah. some haters out there. It's just haters. There's some haters. No, I'm just kidding. It's okay. I'm gonna put his, his <laughs> stuff will be in the link. Uh, this video is going up Sunday. By okay. The way. Sunday. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, who's next, fam? Who's next who, on the who's, top five list? Who's next? Should, who you guys, who want, you to guys see? want? Comment, Comment. down below. Yeah. Who's top five you want to yeah. see on Swagger Diddy's channel? You seen his top five? You see my top five? Who's next? Who's next? And comment your favorite sneaker in the top five. Is there one that you liked or is there one that you hated? Because you know there's a lot of hate going around for guys. Hello. <laughs>